you know, when, when the memorial first started, it was uh, great for us to realize that he wasn't forgotten. Uh, and it was great for us to realize that people cared about him enough to do that. Over the last 20 years, that, that's really changed. And it's changed to uh, myself and our family really being honored that Joey is associated with such a great group of individuals that have um, wore his number and represented the university and everything he stood for. When you describe Joe, I, I always remember him being around people and probably the biggest smile in the room. Um, a little mischievous as well. He wasn't above getting himself in a little bit of trouble. I always remember him being somebody that you wanted to be around. Uh, he'd be the person that you wanted to find and that, you know, you knew that it would be a good time. There was always laughter around him. Uh, if, you, if you talk to his friends, you'll kind of get the same look I have on my face when you ask me about him. You, know, you start thinking about him and just the times that we had together and um, just the relationships that were started way back when he played and then that continued through this day with his teammates and his older brother and, and our whole Georgetown community that's really rallied around the 35. From everything that I knew about Joe and everything I knew about his character was one around pride and honor. So certainly uh, cherished every moment and, and uh, a true honor to be able to wear that jersey. It's just an honor, really, you know, to really represent the program, to represent Joe and really the team, because, you know, a lot of players look up to you as, as a leader, because, you know, once you're given that 35 jersey also means that, you know, you're the captain of the football team. The, the biggest takeaway for me on 35 um, and, and having that honor was the, like I said, the expectations and the um, challenge that, that comes along with it and just being an example uh, for everyone. It started with him, right? So that's the, that is the spirit that is running through the chain of numbers. Is It's his spirit, which continues to live on, you know, and ultimately the spirit of, of everyone who was carrying it, carrying and wearing that jersey as well. You know, I remember being in the locker room, putting it on and just kind of taking that big deep breath about, you know, this is, um, this is something special. And I, I, I have big shoes to fill. And, um, there's some things that I need to do to, to properly give the number 35 and, and Joe the, the respect that, that he's due. And so for me, it always just represented, you know, that, there, that there's something about the number 35 jersey that represents the bigger part, right? Like the greater good, if you could say. The 35 jersey, it represents, you know, Joe's legacy for me. It's, uh, you know, we always talk about it's a living memorial of Joe and everything that him and his family embody. And so, you know, that's just being the best Georgetown person, the, the best Georgetown football player, just being passionate and you know, loving your teammates, but also doing whatever you can for them. So that's what I feel when I think about the number 35 jersey. When I look at all of the past players that come back, all of the past award winners that come back for the spring game, for the award ceremony, um, it's a family. And uh, I, I really do feel honored to me have been part of it. And for Joey, my brother, to um, be a, such a special part of something that both of us were humbled to be part of and that I've only been able to even realize how special it was even more over the last 20 years. And I know he does too. For me, it's, it's remembering our past and our history of where we come from. It also, you know, the person who wears the 35 to me embodies the best things that we have to offer in our program. You know, we talk about your development here, that we chase matches every day, which is, you know, getting 1% better every day. It's the best representation of our program for me. And personally, you know, I hold every one of the players that are doing 35 in high regard, but it's not about the players, it's about the tradition. You know, for every game that I played, I, I tried my best to, um, you know, work to embody uh, Joe Ekabaki's uh, legacy in every way. And that we were out there playing in his honor and we were ensuring that his family saw it. And that was really important for me. It's definitely a, it, it's a commitment to excellence and integrity and, and always doing things with intention um, and doing things the right way. Um, it's, of course, a living memorial to, to Joe. 
you know, wearing the 35 is, is, a, is a really special honor uh, because you're tasked with the mission of, you know, showing the community kind of what 35 is all about. As soon as you step on the field, you know that that's a guy that's going to have your back and that's someone that respects you and that you can trust to, you know, be there for you when you need it the most. Having those moments that we share together, we're realizing that we're going to go into this season um, with all of our efforts. We didn't accomplish all the goals we wanted to, but I know I was always able to call, and just call on Tim. Um, I can still call on Tim to this day. At the end of the day, it's not about myself. My goals always align with the team goals. Like when people ask, what are my personal goals? My personal goals are always the team goals, team success. And I feel like that jersey is the epitome of that. So for me, wearing the number 35 is not necessarily about, you know, being the best football player, but it's about being the type of person that brings positive energy to a group or a team or whoever you are around. Uh, and, it, and it really translates to all sorts of aspects of life outside of football. You know, the more years that I have out of school, it, it kind of just represents the idea that uh, a person can be bigger than the sum of their parts. And that number 35 jersey is the epitome of that, you know, doing something that's not for yourself, but for others. Um, that really is like the whole embodiment of it. And I think it's like a, just a great kind of uh, representation of how a great team functions overall. But there are a couple of things that uh, that come to mind all the time. And I think they're embodied by Coach Scarlata and all of the players that have been there before my time up until today. And that is uh, being part of a team, being part of a family, being accountable as a leader, but also being accountable as a, as a teammate um, and putting the team first and the overall benefit for the team for both the, the players you're with and the players that came before you and the players that, that are gonna come in the future. Um, and I think, uh, you know, that very much embodies who my brother was, someone who put his family and his friends first, someone who, uh, you know, his ultimate happiness was being around the people he cared for the most, uh, whether it was helping them or just being part of, of their lives. And, uh, you know, that's the biggest memory I have, that, um, that characteristic of him always putting family and friends first and seeing that live on through the 35 tradition, through all the phenomenal people that have uh, worn the number and, and, and played there and been part of it. If you want to know what we're about and what what we really value, just say, hey, go in, go in there and look at the jersey because it's supposed to be a living memorial, you know, in Joe's memory. And it's supposed to embody, you know, all the good things, all the struggles that the kids have gone through and the people make our place, right? but it, it, it signifies we're part of something bigger than that family, the tradition. Joe's legacy shouldn't end at football. You know, it shouldn't end once your playing career is over. It's something we have to continue to carry on.